Jay Jamin is PK from Movie For You from Thailand. Well, first of all, I just want to say a big fan base of all of your works, especially me oh, with, nice. with Lars. Oh, thank you very much. Pleasure meeting you, by the way. Good to meet you. All right, well, I saw the movie yesterday. Quick question. How do you make nostalgic movies so fresh and new and, and, and look so updated? Oh, well, thank you. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a funny thing. I, I, I tried to sort of build a bridge with this movie between, like, my childhood and today's movie making. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't want to, you know, only use tools and resources that were available in 1979. I wanted okay. to, you know, so... We, you know, the visual effects, the, the, you know, different, you know, techno cranes and steady cams and all the kind of stuff we used, obviously, made it a sort of modern film. But I, I wanted it to feel genuinely from that time as well. So it was sort of a, the idea was to kind of make it feel like it was made now. Mm. It, I didn't want it to look the way movies from the, the 1970s looked, but I wanted to make it look the way we, we remember movies from 1979. Mm. Okay. The hardest part of making this movie. Um, the hardest part of making the movie, you know, was uh, there were a lot of, you know, tricky times, but the, I think the hardest part was just finding the cast because it was a, uh, I didn't want the cast to feel like professional right, right. kids. Right, right. Uh, but they're all new, though. Well, a couple of except, them were, Except L. Yeah, a couple of them are brand new. A couple right. of them have done a few things, but uh, two of them had done nothing. Mm. And that was really, it was fun. It was, it was a challenge, but once we all sort of got used to it, it was fantastic. Okay. Yeah. Now... Cloverfield was such a big hidden secret. Mm -hmm. Was this one hard to keep the kept it a secret? It would leak um, everywhere on the internet, right? Well, I think that it, it was, you know, it, it, part of the 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 job I think that I have is not letting the story sneak out and sort of get ruined for people, so that they feel like oh they they understand the whole thing, they right. know it all. But I also don't want to keep it so quiet that it becomes just about secrets for secret's sake. Mm. So the, uh, the idea for me is just not to get the, every detail out so that when you go to see the movie, you're like, yep, you know, I, I already saw the whole thing right. you know, before I even saw it. Can we safely say that this is actually a combination of Cloverfield and E.T. combined? I don't think it feels like Cloverfield at all to me. Uh, you know, there's something otherworldly in the movie, but uh, it feels like a very different movie than that. And E.T. was you know, obviously also an incredibly different movie, but because this is an Amblin film, it's a Steven Spielberg produced movie, it shares a sort of DNA with movies like Poltergeist and E.T. and Close Encounters and, you know, Goonies and movies that like were of that era that right. felt like they were about sort of small town, you know, American suburbia with something extraordinary happening to that place. Area 51. Yeah. You believe in those? You believe in aliens? Seriously, according to you. I believe in aliens. I don't necessarily believe that they're, they've been here, but I certainly believe that they exist. Mm. Uh, you know, I'm sure we're aliens to some other race, you know, on some planet. But Me too. I, you know, I don't know if they've been here. I, if they have been here, I would love to know how. That's the most interesting thing to me. Could you just know. tell all the Thai fans, just, just a little bit, before they're going to go see the Super 8 movie, mm -hmm. what is it about? Well, Just shortly. Super 8 is a movie uh, about a, a bunch of kids making a movie in the late 70s using Super 8 film, uh, and they're making a zombie movie. Right. And it's a really scary movie for them, you know. Uh, but then something truly scary happens to their town. And it's a coming-of-age film. It's a love story. It's a comedy. It's emotional. But, it, you know, it's, it's sort of all my favorite things in one movie. But then it's a family movie, then. It is a family movie. It is a family movie. Want to say anything to all your Thai fan? Uh, Hi, Thai fans. I can't wait to come to Thailand. My friends go there. Some friends, you know, have vacation homes. I'm so jealous. So I can't wait to come and check it out myself one day. Thank you. A lot of your fans are working and shopping at the JJ Market. <laughs> it's the same name <laughs> as you are. I want to tell them. Cause I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Listen, I, you know, I, I wish that the JJ Market, I had, that I had something to do with the JJ Market. I have nothing to do with that. But, uh, you know, enjoy it. I hope it's a good, good place. Thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs>